Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Watch Natalie spelled N-A-T-A-L-E-E. -E. You have come across the general daily reading for July 3rd, Wednesday. I looked it up before I hit record. And what that means is that this could resonate for any sign at any time because time spirals just like this. So what that means for energy is that you can resonate with this reading. Any sign that you are right now when I'm publishing it, July whatever day today, oh, today's July 2nd because of the solar eclipse. Or you can resonate with this reading years from now, six years from now. Whenever you come across this video is when you're meant to hear these messages. And the same is true for all of my past videos. So if you go in through my archives and you're drawn to certain videos, those messages could be for you whenever you're drawn and guided to view those, okay? I just got a new deck. Check this out. This is my old deck. I mean, I still love it immensely. But this is the back, and this is the new deck. Look how great it is. They both have the Lutheran rose right here, and then they both have the red roses of desire and the white lilies of pure thought. Uh, I'm totally, totally enamored and in love with this deck. Seriously, it's so beautiful and vivid. It's just, I mean, if you, uh, it's, I, I, I don't want to go on too much about this deck. Um, okay, straight to the downloads. They were coming in really, really fast and furious just in, in just me preparing for this reading. First of all, I've missed you guys so much. You're my favorite part of my day, just getting a chance to talk with you all and, and channel for you. And there's something really special about these daily readings, about the energies that I'm channeling. It's, I don't know how to explain it. There's something about the energies that, that are coming in through the dailies that are not... I don't know, it's almost like the strongest energies of all win out for the daily readings. It's very, and that's when I'm channeling a lot of divine masculine, divine feminine energies. I don't know, there's something very special about these daily readings, at least for me on my end. Okay, so one of the downloads that came through when I was preparing for this daily reading Something about bad Valentine's Day. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it means. It might mean something to you, but it's something about something negative about Valentine's Day. But it's like relevant now. And I don't know if you had a bad Valentine's Day 2019 or if it's always kind of negative for you. I don't know if someone died on that day or around that date or someone was born that day that you don't, that is giving you trouble now. I can't really. I can't get more specific than that, but they just channeled bad Valentine's Day. I don't know what that means. I mean, it's the day of love, so I don't know why they would, why that's coming. Because there's no love. That's what they just said. I also channeled Eden today. Eden, E-D-E-N. There's something, there's really something going on today. I felt it all day. They channeled of, um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Capricorns. Capricorns. Okay, it doesn't have to be Capricorn. Definitely does not have to be. Please excuse my hair. It's just, I can't even with this. Um, doesn't have to be a Capricorn. It's just that energy. It's something's coming under control now. Something you're either coming, you're either getting control over a part of yourself, an aspect of your life, an attitude. This could also be obsession. It could be just really, really, oh, there's actually something about my nails. I, I did clear this time and I don't know if it, if you can really kind of take a look, but there's something about seeing my nails and it just feels like I'm back it's just I don't know I feel really dramatic about it today but it's so you'll notice that these are these are my nails they're like my actual nails when I pointed the cards okay back to you um yeah this could also I'm getting obsession I actually never talk about obsession when the devil card comes out I always talk about how it is um getting control over some aspect of yours. I always go on from that, but I'm getting obsession with this card. And look how vivid it is. Look how beautiful. Do you ever just, it's like just stand in front of some beautiful art and just let it affect you. I mean, look at his eyes. They're so yellow. Um, 
something weird about today's reading, it being the solar eclipse for sure. And I wanted to do a whole dedicated solar eclipse video for you guys. <sighs> Obviously didn't get it in in time. Today was a long day, very, very long day. So maybe later this week if we have some time, okay? But this, there's an obsession. I'm feeling someone has their eyes set on something and they're not taking them off. These eyes are really getting me. It's just someone's really obsessed and I don't, I'm not making a judgment on this if this is positive or negative or healthy or unhealthy. I'm just picking up the pure energy of it. And the pure energy of it is that they just can't stop thinking about something. You, someone else around you, there's this thing about absolute, it's overtaken. It's over, like they're being controlled by this upset. And it's not even, I take that back, they're not being controlled by this obsession. It's just a very, not a guilty pleasure. Not guilty pleasure. It's, it's like a respite. This is a mental thing. This is something that, It's almost like if you if you masturbate to like in the middle of the day or something just to get your mind off of everything, it's like that, but it's not masturbation. I mean, maybe for some of someone it is because the devil card. I mean, like the horny goat, but I mean, it doesn't have to be. But the way it's coming up, it feels like something that you indulge in mentally that's that serves its a purpose of relief but it's re but it's obsessive it's it's very could be obsessive sexual thoughts sure but i'm not getting specifically sexual i'm just getting a very intense focus like i'm telling you these eyes are just really getting me you know like that like just really really Okay, let's move on. Let's see what other messages we have from this this devil here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Let's see if this gives us clues. <laughs> I was going to say scorpionic. I was going to say it's almost scorpionic. And he showed up all on his own. Okay, someone on the surface... Someone, oh, look at this beautiful card. I love it. I love it. Someone on the surface is making it look like they're not obsessed. Could be Cancer. We're in the solar eclipse. It could be Scorpio. It could be a Pisces. It could be all three. It's someone who, ooh, I don't want to go into mirror. <laughs> oh, there is since yesterday. It's, but it's someone who's really trying to stay cool, calm, and collected on the surface, and they're not, they're not. Look at look at the water underneath the concrete slab where his his throne is on. He's trying to be kingly and show that he's not emotionally compromised. Remember Spock and um, Star Trek, and he gets him to react emotionally, and he has to step down because he's emotionally compromised. Oh my God, Spock has been, has been emotionally compromised by something. Some of This King of Cups is someone, this is a masculine energy with strong feminine energy. I know that sounds complicated. Doesn't have to be male, doesn't have to be female. But this is someone who is... I want to say complex, but I feel like that just doesn't do him justice. I, and I don't want to not do someone like this justice. I feel like they're, give me a second, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. The King of Cups. The water. It's the water, creative intelligence, creative. This is this could be a creative person. The water, the water he's on. Is that a fish? It is a fish. 
I've never noticed that before. I think that's, I swear to you, I think this is a fish. I think that's like a little house and I think this is a fish. This is a, this is a creative person. This is someone who has to reconcile being very emotional and being very creative and being like a leader or in charge of something. Like he can't, he, this is weird. He has to appear. <sighs> He's both. Or this masculine is both. He's logical. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is someone who's out of control emotionally. Quite the contrary, he, this masculine is very in control of himself, except right now. Because <gasps> now he has an obsession. Now he's obsessed. What is he obsessed about? Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. This is connected to Bad Valentine's Day. I don't know how. I almost saw the red. This is connected somehow. This Valentine's, I don't want to speak out of turn. I don't know. Something about this val this bad Valentine's Day that they channeled me is showing up as a third element. It's a wedge. It's a wedge. It's a wedge in between this King of Cups and that which he desires. Somehow, oh, this is so bizarre. Because I don't always go straight to third party situation, and this doesn't feel like it's. If it is, for some of you, it could be true. If for some of you, it is a third party situation with a romantic partner, then this King of Cups is not really emotionally involved with them, and they are not sexually attracted to them in any way, shape, or form. They are not. They're not with them energetically. Energetically, oh, they could be obsessed with you. You could be obsessed with someone. I can't tell if I'm reading for you or the cross watcher. <laughs> I really can't tell. But this person, I'm sorry, I'm just going to do this this whole video. Um, but this person is really obsessed with one singular person or one singular objective, one singular thing. And this is the wedge in between the King of Cups and that which he covets. I would get so discouraged. You know what the dating advice my mother gave me? She gives it to me anytime, anything I have to say, she always quotes Silence of the Lambs. She goes, Natalie, you have to put yourself in, in, front, of, in front of people. You have to get out more because, you know, you have to find your husband that way because you know, men love what, what they, they covet what they see. They have to see you every day. I said, I'm a recluse. And she's, and she would, <laughs> all of her dating advice is from Silence of the Lambs. And this is my, this is my legacy here. And, and she said, he covet what he sees. He, he needs to see you every day. I'm like, I watch movies a lot and I do tarot videos. I don't know. I only just started doing these tarot videos too. Okay, the next card. I don't know if you saw the next card that came out. What did I channel? I don't remember what day that was. What did I channel? The tower moment has to hit. And this this tower moment is going to hit this, this third entity. Whatever wedge this is between the king of cups and that which he covets. It's crashing down. I'm almost wondering if he, I really feel he too, if he should have put an end to this and just couldn't. And, and escaped. He, is, he used this obsession, this obsessive, whatever he's been thinking about, whoever he's been thinking about, he used it 
instead of walking towards it, instead of putting an end to some to whatever this is and walking towards that which he covets, he just didn't. <laughs> This is, this is a man. This is a male. This is like typical male avoidance. I bet this is a female. I bet this is a female. I bet you any money. And I'm not getting romantic. It could be romantic. If it's a wife or a girlfriend or a little some some or a mother or a mother figure or a maternal figure, stepmom, um, adoptive mother, this I'm feeling is is um whatever the energy is this this other energy is is something he didn't deal with he did not and maybe he maybe he tried i don't know i don't know but either way i'm picking up the avoidance though because the tower comes the tower hits look at the look at the card the lightning strikes this tower and it's fire. It's, it's, it's when lightning, when lightning thunderstorms, it clears the air. Literally, it cleans the air. It just that it just breaks up the, and it cleans it. It cleans out, it, you know, everything like a forest fire. When they do controlled fires with the foliage on the ground and everything, it, it cleans the forest floors. So this, it's it's like and then the tower is an element of fate and destiny coming into play and taking control and taking it's like the joker all you need is a little push that's what this is this king of cups wanted to move closer can cancer capricorn scorpio capricorn i just Anyway, um, <laughs> King of Cups wanted to move closer to the devil, and instead of doing so, just avoided putting the tower moment to this this other energy here, and just kept indulging in the obsessive thoughts. And I don't want to say obsessive because I don't want. <sighs> okay, when I say obsessive, I just mean. Just don't take it wrong, please. Just don't take it wrong. I'm not saying that you're an obsessive person. I'm not saying it derogatorily. I just don't want you to get sensitive about me using the word obsessive. I don't want you to take it to heart. I don't want you to be offended, okay? Please don't take it offensively when I say obsessive. It's not, I have obsessive thoughts. Everyone has obsessive thoughts. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's have a, a scorpionic you know, sesh here. It's it's okay. It's and it and I'm picking up. It's like I said. Remember the first when we first started right out the gate. It's not bad. I'm not picking up that it's negative. I'm not picking up that it's controlling you. I feel like I'm talking to the King of Cups. I'm just picking up the energy, like just very pure, plain and simple. And what this Tower moment is telling us is that this has to happen. Is what I'm trying to very inarticulately like Colin Firth and Bridget Jones's diary say when he's <gasps> ooh remember in Bridget Jones's diary when he's at the top of the stairs and he's going to marry Natalie and he just can't leave her he just she, she, she has him like whipped right how they say that about guys with female relationships that are very toxic and she's at the bottom of the stairs just like putting on her shit like oh you know, and he he says that I memorize it. He says what I'm trying to say very inarticulately is, I like you just the way you are. Right, without the drink king and the smoke king, you know, and no, just the way you are. <sighs> okay, I had a whole thing. I had a whole thing about about the Knight of Cups. I think that was yesterday's reading, right? And like speaking it and coming forward. And I, f I feel like someone it needs to come forward that is watching this video and watching this story unfold. And what came to me was every romantic comedy, uh, in all the movies, there's a moment when one person tells the other person how they feel. And it's like bursting at the seams. It's just, it, this 
King of Cups, let it get, is letting, it's going to get worse. I'm, by worse, I mean more intense. The, these thoughts, what you want, the magnetic pull, the attraction, the, the psychic connection, it's just going to get more intense. It's just going to get even more inflamed, okay? Especially since you're putting so much into it on your side, even though you're not physically speaking it, even though you're not physically involved with this other person, I get distance here too, major distance. Even so, it's still going to get even bigger. It's still going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why the universe is putting this tower moment here because your energy and the object of your affection, what you covet, a la Silence of the Lambs. Thanks, Mom. Um, it's just getting more. Oh, and so, okay, so the romantic comedy thing. So in all the romantic, all the romantic movies, there has to be that moment where <sighs> someone takes that leap of faith and just... Like in the cutting edge, when he's like, I need you. I need you. When Harry met Sally, when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Someone watching this video has a crush on Meg Ryan. That's what my sources are telling me, or used to. I never, I mean, I'm, I'm recording myself, I can see myself, and I'm doing the cards to make sure I'm holding them upright. And for some reason, my eyesight went straight to this little line right here, right there, that one, right there. And for some reason, I saw Meg Ryan's face, like 50 feet in the air, at the end, when he's telling her that, and... She's like, see? <laughs> you know, uh, and she's trying to tell him, and I hate you, Harry. I really hate you. You know, it's, it, I do the same, I have the same thing, and, and they just, that was the download, that someone, one of you, someone you know, the other person in your situation has or had a crush on Meg Ryan. I'm just the messenger. Too many cards. I... <gasps> but putting them back, guess what's on the bottom of the deck? You, you super secret Scorpio spy. Oh, these energies are so intense right now. Scorpionic, Capricornonic, all being channeled through your god Capricorn fairy mother. Okay, look at that. If this is not someone obsessively watching every little thing you do, I don't know what it is. You guys know this is what it is, though. Maybe some of you have a little thing like Meg Ryan. Three cards. The Two of Pentacles, the Three of Staves, and the Knight of Swords. I haven't seen the Knight of Swords... I haven't seen the Knight of Swords in a very long time. Give me a second. Let me, let me, hold on. <sighs> the King of Cups is trying to balance the double Dutch. This is how he feels. He just wants to <sighs> charge. I want to get my woman. I want to get my man. I want to get my lover. Rah. And he, the rah rah. We will, we will rock you. He, he, he's, that's the energy. That's what's going on. Sim, that's, that's what's going on under this watery surface here. Obsessing about it. Understands that the three of wands, oh my God, he has expectations. He, okay, he, this King of Wands has fears and worries and stresses about expectations here. I don't know that this Three of Wands, yeah, the Three of Swords, sorry, Three of Staves is what I'm trying to say. See how there's three little ships? Un, deux, trois, eins, zwei, 
3. 1, 2, 3. So I always talk about what I talk about with sending ships out, waiting for them to come back. No, expectations. This is he, this King of Cups is juggling the expectations versus and how he comes in. The King of Cups comes in. There's expectations involved with this, and he's really, I keep saying he, but remember, blur the signs, the genders, and the ages. This person, this King of Cups, is just really trying to, it's, it's just constantly battling these expectations and, and the speed and the drive. And the, I mean, it's, but it's really starting to just burst at the seams. But this isn't going to go until this is going to hit. It's like the universe is doing this for you because you just didn't do it. I And it's like, it has to. It just has to, is what they're saying. It has to. It has to hit. What other messages do we have? It has to hit. But those ex let me give me a second, hold on. Oh, that's too many cards. Um look how beautiful it looks, look how beautiful this looks. The ace of pentacles. The King of Cups wants to um, make this real. What I just heard, my sources are telling me the King of Cups wants to make this real. They're, they, they don't, they, okay, they don't like obsessing about this. They don't like watching from afar. They want to make it real. They want to, they want to make it real. I just, they just, it's, they want to make it real. Like, they want to touch and, and taste and... Just like this coin is in the hand, they want to hold it in their hands. They want to hold you in their hands. They want to make it real. Like it's in their head. Like it's all in their head right now. For like they're like as far as they know, it could all just be in their head. As far as they know, it could just be um, like a fantasy or something. They don't. They're not. It's not that they're. Oh. They're just, I don't know if they know that this is only going to get more intense. This is only going to get more intense. But they really want to. For some of you, it could be um, a wedding ring. For some of you, that they want to make this a commitment, you know, like a solid, a solid commitment to you. You know, I've been helping people come into union since I started doing readings and it's great. It's, it's, you know, I do readings and everyone comes into union and I'm such a mom. It's like they come into union and then I don't hear from them and they're, <laughs> then they're off having fun, living their lives and enjoying each other. And it's okay. Bye mom. You know, I'm like, okay, honey, goodbye. Have fun. Enjoy each other. Take care of each other. Take care of her for me. Take care of him for me. You know? I'll see you when, you know, you need me. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my nails. I thought, you know, my kids, we're going to have like buttons banned in this, in this household because mama doesn't, doesn't do the buttons so well. <laughs> oh, motherhood. Whoa. Oh, that was dramatic. Hold on. Oh, this came up. This was the double confirmation of the moon. Someone's dream. Someone's dreaming. Absolutely. Like, this is full. This See, this is why it's getting more intense, is that not only is the King of Cups obsessing in the day-to-day, watching in the day-to-day -day, but in their it's like you're haunting their dreams 
they're dreaming about you you're dreaming about each other it's it's wildly wildly effective affecting them in the subconscious see now it's like I don't want to say an attack on all sides it's not an attack obviously but it's like this influence or whatever it is that they're obsessing about is coming into their soul through both entries through the front door and the back they're coming in through the through the conscious mind and through the subconscious We'll do, oh, okay, hold on. Four of Swords, meditating, he's meditating on it. He's trying to calm down. This person's trying to just calm down. And I think that they're very, see the first thing, the first card is I always, it has an influence on all the cards that come after it. It's really the most powerful. It's like if if I pulled the first card and then got struck down by lightning. My sources want you to know the first card more than any other card. That if, if Natalie goes, I say that because I drove an hour in a really tsunami storm. My little car, it was I thought I didn't know what was going to happen. I was so, I wasn't like upset, like crying or anything, but I was just water, it, it, lightning, cars, rain. I thought I just really, I'm like, this cannot be how I die. This just, it just can't. I would be so pissed. So here I am. But I mean, I'm just saying like the thing is that the, the first card out, you know, if I pull a card and then choke on, a piece of candy midway through the reading and keel over they want you to know the first card first I'm so dramatic um so this devil card is is it is the control it, it's obsessive was the first channel download but overlaid with this four of swords it's controlling controlled meditation so they're trying to they're really good at controlling their emotions they're really good at controlling themselves, which is why them thinking about you or thinking about what they covet is 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 stressful <laughs> to say the least. And I'm feeling like whatever this is, it's making someone else unhappy. It's making this is it an Aquarius born in February, born um on Valentine's Day? I don't know. But I feel like when they channel to me bad Valentine's Day, it's a person. I don't know why. I can't think of anything else. But I'm feeling like Aquarius rules. Aquarius is ruled by the planet Uranus. Uranus is the planet of unpredictability. It's the only thing you cannot predict in astrology is how Uranus will express itself. All you can count on with this planet is unpredictability. This person could be an Aquarius who is very unpredictable, who cannot control themselves, who is always shocking and surprising and they could have tantrums they could blow up they could be they could be the ones bringing tower moments again and again and again and i'm feeling like this is you know the channeling was bad valentine's day i mean it was very clear there's really no room for interpretation the lower of all, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, this is just a guess. I'm not channeling this. My guess is that it's a lower evolved Aquarius who, um, who stirs the pot on purpose, who, remember when I was talking about the Queen of Cups, the negative aspect of the Queen of Cups, emotionally manipulative and controlling and insecure and projecting feminine toxicity onto masculines and into relationships with masculines that's kind of what I'm getting with this card with with this these two cards right here and the channeling of bad valentine's day I'm guessing this no no, no wait hold on it's 
something about the moon. It's like how people fear the full moon because the werewolf comes out. There's something about this feminine, this third party. It doesn't have to, it could be anyone. It could be but a, a wedge, a third person, a, a wedge in between the King of Cups and what he covets. This is the element of unpredictability. It could even be, I don't even know, a job you started on Valentine's Day. You know, but just, you know, just take the energies and the concepts of what I'm saying and apply them how they work for you if this message is for you okay but what I'm channeling is that this element is unpredictable and that is why this king of cups didn't confront it avoidance it was much better to focus on what they wanted what, what they covet it's it's part of like stress relief too and avoidance it was very convenient Two things can be true at once. The universe, especially with this eclipse, it's it's going to put the tower moment to this situation. A tower moment to the tower moment maker. <laughs> one more card. One more good one. Make it good. Make it good, energies. What do you want to come through? Oh, I'm sorry. Conflict. There's conflict. Okay, I turned up the other one because remember, did you see how there were two? I just picked it up and it was the Ace of Wands. He's, um, the King of Cups is resting before the conflict. The King of Cups knows that this is going to be an emotionally taxing thing. So they're, they're preparing for... And this isn't even a war. This five of wands, it's not, the fives are conflict and it's conflicting, but this card is more pettiness. It's more bickering. It's more like squabbling, like, you know, that kind of thing. So They want, I'm sorry, they want me to keep going. You can exit the reading now if you want. They want me to they want me to pull again. I know it's supposed to be a 30 minute reading and it's already 37 minutes. It's been such a long day. I'm so tired, but they're telling me. Oh, two. <gasps> the six of coins and the ten of coins. This is about equality. This is about the equal give and take. This is a family situation. This other person was not an equal giver and a taker. Whatever this tower moment is coming to, some this is a very specific reading for someone because I am so tired and I do not. Okay, I'll stop. This is, this is about the boundaries. This is the financial boundaries. Look at how there's two um, pentacle cards back to back right here, okay? Um, this is, this, what's, the tower moment is coming to a person who is not respecting boundaries. And I'm thinking, um, mm, this person has not been respecting the boundaries and this, per, this king of cups needs them, you know, and it's, it's, it's financial abuse. It's an equal give and take. And, um, this is legacy. It's family. It's progeny. It's, br oh, it's breaking ancestral cycles. Oh my gosh, this, what's happening, this tower moment is happening to break out of a negative, toxic ancestral cycle that had been going on seven generations back and beyond, possibly. That needed to come out. That really needed to come out. I'm so tired, but it needed to come out for someone, for someone watching this. And remember, it's taking control. This King of Cups even though he, this King of Cups avoided this happening, I'm feeling like he feels like he knew what was going to happen regardless. So it's almost like he knew that it, that this was all going to happen, whether he did it or did something about it or not. Like he accepted, he's accepting that there's another. He knows that the energy of what it is that he covets and the energy of this bad Valentine's Day cannot 
exist in the same space at the same time or something. It's really weird. Like they're so opposite. They're so opposite. Because here is self-control, the devil, Capricorn. And here is completely out of control, the tower moment. Bad Valentine's Day, Aquarian, Aquarius. Even if it's not an Aquarius, it's that heavy... And actually, Capricorns and Aquarians have planets in each other's signs because they're side by side. I have my moon and my Mercury in Aquarius. So I don't want anyone to be upset or offended that I'm talking about an Aquarius here, okay? So don't take it personally, please. But this is this is just someone who's out of kind of out of control. Like maybe they just showed me Penelope Cruz in Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Um, she plays Maria Elena. Very sexy, very sultry, very out of control, very whack, very, you know, uh, uh, she lets her own insecurities and her own projections and her own paranoia and her own psychosis, she lets all of that control her. So she's not a real personality. She's only the pure energies of paranoia, obsession, jealousy through a very beautiful body, but but no real personality. If you really can, very entertaining movie. But that's kind of what this is. This and this King of Cups is is really sort of understanding that that which he is watching. He see it's because he's been observing. My mother was right. Moms are always right. Not everyone's mom is always right. They just totally made me walk that back. It could be a mom issue here. No, I'm not getting that. Never mind. Maybe for someone, but not, I just scratch that. But it's, it's, um, my mom's always right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> when I'm a mom, I'll always be right. That's what I mean to say. This is more the King of Cups watching someone, watching that which he covets. And through that, and through that energetic download, through that energetic connection, this third wedge is put into a perspective of, wow, you are not in control of yourself. Okay, we will pull, um, you know what, no, we're done. No, we'll pull a Moonology card. I just got the Moonology deck. Never used it before. I feel like it might work. Ooh, weird solar eclipse energy today, you guys. Weird. I ch I'm not going to put on camera the other things I channeled. I'm going to let it marinate. I'm going to let it stew. I don't know. I don't know. I just really feel really weird about it. Not weird, but just... Just, I mean, I felt it in my body. I felt it in my body. Okay. What advice do we have, or what message do we have for the King of Cups? Or about the King of Cups? <gasps> Conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. <gasps> Is there going to be a conclusion by the full moon eclipse of this month, July 16th? Is that what that means? What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's what this means? I feel like that could be maybe exactly what it means. Okay, I'll read you. We're already 45 minutes in. <laughs> Let me find it. Full moon eclipse 96. Full moon eclipses have the power and energy of... Um, Four full moons wrapped into one. Just like the new moon solar eclipse has the energy of four new moons wrapped up into one. Jeez Louise. And just like that, the door slams shut. If you pull this card, it suggests that the situation you're asking about is about to reach a peak or has just done so. And things are now out of your hands. 
What you're experiencing now is what your soul signed up for, a way for you to learn and for your soul to evolve. So allow events to unfold and be easy on yourself. If you're letting go of someone or something, know that it's the right time. As hard as it might be. Forgiving someone for what they did could be the key to resolving the situation in a positive way. It doesn't make right what they did, but it releases you so you can move on. Wow. Full moons are nearly always about climaxes and very often about conclusions. Full moon eclipses are the same, but on steroids. A full moon eclipse can be hard to handle because it portends change, something many of us are uncomfortable with. But change is a part of life, and this card, no matter when you pull it, reminds you of that fact. Full moon eclipses can also give us a glimpse into what Carl Jung called the shadow self. Work with your darkness. How appropriate for the Capricorn Scorpio dynamic going on here. Work with your darkness. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse, everybody. Okay. If this was for you, that was exactly my intention, that this feels like a personal reading. And, um, oh, the AIT training course started today. The emails went out, the links went out. So if you did not get one and you signed up for the July 2nd Artigan in training course, please email me, the Artigan, the f sorry, the first Artigan at gmail.com. And I will get that to you ASAP because there's homework, as all of my courses have. And um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. If you want, you can go to the um, theartigan.com slash tarot, and you can download a wonderful freebie calendar when I post all of the freebies and the dailies, weeklies, and monthlies. All right, everybody. I'm, I'm going to try to do a special intimate reading as well or maybe like I said that that eclipse reading I'm going to try to sneak in like a new or like an additional reading this week so cross your fingers that that it all works out okay I'll talk to you soon bye